Hey YouTube, this is John Nordling from Geo Marvel. Today I'm going to be talking about SAML integration with ArcGIS Online and Enterprise. I'll be using a AWS account with an Active Directory. These principles can be applied to basically any SAML provider and any Active Directory configuration. Um, so if you like this video, please like, subscribe. We appreciate your support and catch you guys in there. To get started, we're going to start right here on the documentation page. Um, this is a really great resource. Really recommend kind of reading this all the way through front to back. We'll provide this link down below so you can uh, get direct access to it. The documentation is for ArcGIS 10.11, but it hasn't really changed much, I would say, since like 10.8. One really, really important thing to know is, is that if you're integrating the same SAML provider with ArcGIS Online and Enterprise, you wanna read this section here about applying the default uh, IDP user name suffix to your ArcGIS Enterprise so that you get continuity between the two. So that's just a quick tip there. Otherwise, for information, ArcGIS uh, Online Enterprise integrate with you know all SAML providers. They kind of clearly articulate that here. So no matter what you're using, whether it's again an Active Directory service or a service like Okta, for example, or OnePass or any of these other popular uh, single sign-on platforms, if they have SAML integration, you can integrate that with ArcGIS. So I wanted to walk through that, and again, take the time, go through this documentation here. This section here el elaborates on all the different providers that you know are available, which is everyone, but they have documentation for some of the major ones here. Uh, and then user mappings is an important section. So uh, when you actually go to configure this, you do want to make sure your mappings are correct so that you know uh, all the ArcGIS properties, uh, email address, you know common name, those types of things are all coming over properties. So let's get into it. All right. So I've got a fresh ArcGIS Enterprise here. This is a 10.9.1 machine. And just to demo the functionality to you, you know, when you click sign, when you have a SAML connection in here, you'll see the secondary logins. You have a login with ArcGIS, which is your standard name user login, as well as I have this GeoMarvel Enterprise login, which when I click this, it's going to ask me to sign in with my Active Directory accounts, which we'll get into the AWS stuff here in a second. But if I sign into this, so if I go to Corp and J Nordling, and I go ahead and sign in, I'm now getting authorized access into my ArcGIS Enterprise account. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over to settings, go to the settings tab, scroll all the way down to security, and you will see the login section here. Notice you'll have a SAML login option as well as an OpenID Connect. One thing to keep in mind about these, if you are going to leverage this, you do need to have the default member set up. In this case, the default member user type and the role is going to be viewer and viewer, just because anyone that's joining in to the organization want them to have the least amount of access by default. And so this is a great new feature in ArcGIS. Going back, we go to security here. Let's go ahead and click this new SAML login. We're using a base active directory, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just pick this one identity provider here, type in our name. We're just gonna call this the GeoMarvel Enterprise Login, and it's asking us for some details here. I'm going to have our Active Directory user sign in automatically and you can also use this invitation and you know load your users in manually there. The next question is to grab the metadata source from the enterprise identity provider and in this case this is going to be our identity provider in this case AWS SSO. So over here, I've got a Active Directory service. This is just a standard AD in AWS underneath the directories section in the Active Directory. You can see it here, what, you know, what region it is, where it's really just a base directory service used for this demo here. From there, you're gonna to wanna to integrate that with the SSO in Amazon, where you'll go ahead and create an application. In this case, it's a custom SAML integration. For other applications that aren't ArcGIS, you may find them here. And there's some great kind of pre-configured applications that you can just use. So we're going to click next. I'm going to name this ArcGIS Enterprise and keep that there. Name this here. And here's where some of that metadata is, right? It's asking me to download this file. So let me go ahead and download this. Grab that from the you know downloads folder. You can also use the URL here. So let me go back to ArcGIS and I'm going to do this from file. Let me go ahead and just drag this file in here. Got it. 
And don't worry about filling any of this out because once I save this, this file is going to populate it with a lot of those details. So if I go ahead and, and look at this now, you'll see that it's populated my login information. It's got my post calls. It's added the certificate from the provider but it's also telling me that I need to download something, right? And this is the kind of the security of SAML. That's kind of this signature on both sides of the provider. So let me go ahead and download that. And we're off to a really good start. So let me click save here, go back to my application, and I am going to say, upload a metadata file. Just say, choose file. All right, so choose the file and click submit got it so now my arcgis enterprise application is here now a couple things to keep in mind with saml integration is getting your mappings correct right when we look at this documentation here you've got all these different mappings some important ones in saml are the name id right and so this is required information so we need to make sure that we have a name id in our user mapping and then anything else that we really want right email given name surname any of that will be fine so let's go here and let's, uh, go ahead and configure our saml so we've got just do a quick QA here. We've got our application start. We can go ahead and fill that out. It's gonna be our base kind of portal name here. And ready state is fine. I'll keep that blank. Not exactly sure what that does at the time. And let me go ahead and set edit application. Now here's where our mapping is. If you want to just kind of look for some shorthands for your provider, I'll definitely check out their documentation. Amazon's here, so you have the directory attributes as well as the user attributes. I'm going to use the user subject here for the subject line. So in my provider, I go subject. I'm going to add another one. This one's going to be name ID, ID. I generally all caps these. I think I'm going to set that one to be the email address. So when the user signs in, their ID is going to be their email address. And let's set some of these other ones. So we've got, I think, just email address. And we can also set that to email address. And let's also do surname. And we'll set the surname to be, I don't know, the family name. Right. And we're going to have these all be unspecified, which is fine. If you have a specified format on yours, you will want to make sure this matches your provider for the conversion. And then let's do one more given name. And our given name. Hopefully we have an attribute for that. Perfect. Here, when we click save, right? So we've got our attributes set up here on the directory side. We've got the two signatures added from the enterprise side. We've got our default members set in our roles. So we should be good to go. Now, I wanna show you two things. Currently, I have not assigned any users to this application, right? So when uh, we go into this application, you want to sign in, it's going to tell us, sorry, no users have been added to have access to this. So let me just validate that quickly. So here, hopefully we see our SAML integration here. Perfect. ArcGIS Enterprise login. We click sign in. Now it is going to take me to my single sign-on because we've integrated that right with the provider. So work slash J Nordling. All right, let me log in. And what I'm expecting to happen here is for me to get stopped right here saying, oh, I don't have access to this application. And while we've told ArcGIS, sure, you have access. We haven't told our active SAML provider, we haven't given it any Active Directory users to have access. So let's go back to our provider here and assign some users. So I'm going to go ahead and sign some users from this. Let me just add myself here, Jay Nordling, uh, from, from the users. There I am here. We'll also bring our colleague in here, D Bloom Dalton. Got him. All right. And let's go click and say assign. All right. And now, my sample Active Directory provider here, SSO. I now have access to that. So if I test this in single sign-on again, so if I go to arcgis marvel I go sign in, go ahead and sign in with my organizational ID again. All right, so corp ignored thing. Now my SSO provider, I do have a login. I should get 
sent over to ArcGIS. You can see the new user flag. There I am, there's my Active Directory user. I'm signed in, my email address, right? Came over from the attribute mapping, so that's beautiful. As well as my ID, right? And John, my first name, right? It's got my actual name and my email address, the mappings that I've provided. So uh, from a portal admin perspective, let's just confirm that our new members are being added via the right license type. So you can see I'm a, a viewer. Um, so that if I wanted to elevate the user, I could change this type here. So really not that, not that bad. Definitely can be a little confusing, kind of a lot of moving parts, but just wanted to break that down for you. And one last kind of note here would be that you can only really have one SAML provider per an organization. And this works identically in ArcGIS Online, so there's no difference in, in the workflow here. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Thanks for supporting our, our channel, and we'll see you guys next time.